guys and a big welcome back to our channel. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what the hell was that? I was trying to do a goofy sort of impression but it didn't work. It sounded more like Forky Pig. Do you think we should try that again? No. Well, I can try the voice again if you <laughs> no, want. No, no. Hang on. No, no, Let me no. try it. No, no. Like that? No, that doesn't sound. It's nothing. <laughs> We're both actually repping um, Stitch today. I can do a stitch. You need to stand up and show yours. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'll stop doing voices. Uh, this is actually a sneaky peek into a purchase for my Disney haul, which I'll be filming very soon. I'm still a bit nervous about that, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Your first haul. Yeah. Uh, this is actually a stitch shirt, and it says Ohana means family. Family. And it's got Lilo and Stitch on the bottom. And I got it as well because I love the colour of the shirt. Yeah, it's I've got nice. a lot of shirts in this colour and uh, I really like the outline, the silhouette and also the... All right, it's not your whole yet. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Just practising. <laughs> Don't give it all she's away. Trying to, she's trying to get into it. So today's video is not a whole. <laughs> today's video is our top 10 Tamer rides at Disneyland Paris. Yeah, so we did our last video and then towards the end of it I thought, oh, it might be an idea if we did Tamer rides and then some of you commented saying that was a good idea. That was a good one. So this was hard, was actually. It was as hard as trying to pick our favourite rides. It was actually. So we've compiled a list of ten. Yeah. Um, Obviously, there's more than ten. So if you're going to Disneyland Paris for the first time, uh, make sure you you look at all the Tamer rides because yeah. we we did have to miss out some which are really good. Yeah. So this is, in our opinion, our favourite Tamer rides. Yes. So non roller coaster rides. Let's do it. So they're also in order from 10 to 1 being our favourite. Yeah. Okay. Should we start? You've got the list. Am I going to start a number? Should I start? You start. Okay. The thing is, a lot of these rides have got French names. So do I say their French titles or do I just say their names? Try, but <laughs> I apologise now. <laughs> okay. Any French French speakers? Num number 10 is Le Voyage de Pinocchio. <laughs> Which we call Pinocchio. Yeah. Um, the yeah. Pinocchio ride. So you're in this cart and you go around on this track. It tells you the story of the film of Pinocchio. And it's all uh, models, isn't it? That, yeah. That they move. all move as well. It's probably quite an old ride. Yeah. I can't I think remember so. officially when it um, was made. But it has that kind of old fairy tale vibe yeah. about it. It's nice that it's a classic story, I think, as well. Because yeah. you don't want all of the classic films being lost because yeah. all the new ones have come out. So it's nice to have a mix of the two. and It reminds you as well of the story of Pinocchio. Yeah. I haven't seen Pinocchio in years. I really like so. the theming of this one. And especially the bit where you go into the circus and there's mm. these fireworks up on the oh, ceiling. Yeah. And then you see the donkey scene, which always scared me as a oh, kid. Oh, yeah, that scared me itself. So. But, uh, yeah, so it, there's no drops or sudden stops or anything like that. You just go no. around, lasts a couple of minutes, and it's enjoyable, yeah. Yeah, so you're just sat in a little cart. They um, have a little barrier that comes down, um, but there's no, like, you're not strapped in or anything like that. So it's it's definitely a tamer ride. Yeah. And you'll find that in Fantasyland. Yes. In the Disneyland Park. So number nine is... This is not its official title. Its official title is, is in French, but... I know that I won't be able to say it right. <laughs> so I'm going to call it the Cars Ride. <laughs> <laughs> We're bowing out early on the French. <laughs> yeah. So the Cars Ride... I'm not leaving, I'm just getting my tea. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> so the Cars Ride is based in Disney Studios. I would say it's a tame ride, but it's probably... It spins. It so spins. Motion sickness, maybe. Yeah, but it's it's not a roller coaster. Um, you're, you're not strapped in. So it's definitely... I would call it a yeah. family friendly And it's ride. not very long either, is it? No. So but isn't it inspired by mm. that other that weird ride that they used to have hitting the balls or something, driving in cars? I've seen yeah. on some sort of footage. It was was that in Disneyland Paris or was that in California? It was sure. in a Disney park, probably someone will know, so let us know in the comments. And it was based on this ride where you kind of just spin around and you like hover but and there's I, beach balls it and kept stuff. breaking down so they had to scrap and, that right there was injuries yeah <laughs> yeah so um so this is kind of a lot tamer version of that 
and you you sit in a car, one at the front, one at the back, and it, it all the cars spin round and it looks like you're gonna hit a car, but you never do. Um, it just gives you that motion of like spinning round and you're dodging all these other cars. Yeah. Um, but it's great. It's really good fun. Enjoyed that one. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Because we, we, yeah, we hadn't gone on it that much before. And then, yeah, we went on it twice on our last trip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good fun. Number eight. This is the classic ride. This is the carousel. And I'd never been on a carousel until I went with Helena to Disney World. And so since then, every time we go to a theme park, I have to go on the carousel. I love them. <laughs> I love the carousel. A, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Um, so definitely get a photo of it. Um, it just looks amazing. And it's just that classic fairground ride. And it mm-hmm. fits in, it's in Fantasyland. And it fits in perfectly with everything around it. Yeah, it's got it's the ultimate fairy Disney tale. tunes playing as well as you go around. And you can always, you can choose what horse or you can sit in a carriage. Um, also, the horses are all different sizes. So if you go with a family, they've got little horses yeah. for children and then larger horses for adults. Yeah. Um, but you can choose any horse that you it's got a, ride on. It's got a seatbelt as well. So yeah. you're strapped in. And I believe that the adults can stand on the platform as it as it goes round if your child's on one of the horses, if you just want the child yeah, to experience sitting on the horse by themselves, you can stand next to them. So yeah, that's good. it's definitely a family friendly, really fun ride. Yeah. As long as you don't get dizzy, you could yeah, ride it as many times <laughs> as you like. <laughs> we love it. Um, we always have to do it. Yeah. And that's in Fantasyland. Number seven is The Flying Carpets. This is in Disney Studios and it's obviously themed around Aladdin and <laughs> and it has the genie in the middle and it is he on a film set uh well the genie's at the side isn't he and he's uh he's, he's yeah he's directing yeah. And he's got the what is it like the speaker thing yeah megaphone yeah megaphone he's wearing his director's cap and stuff like that yeah so you're kind of filming a scene for Aladdin on the flying carpets and uh it's kind of along the same lines of the Dumbo ride. You sit on a flying carpet and then it has a little lever that um, you pull and then it takes you up. So mm-hmm. you can go up or down as you like. This was hard. We didn't know whether to pick Dumbo or whether to pick flying yeah. carpets. But I'm such an avid fan of Aladdin and yeah, of the genie. Yeah, slightly that one for us. I went for flying carpets. But it's yeah. really fun. The genie, like, um, chats as you're going round. Yeah. And also um, the song's going... Yeah. So then you end up singing along. Yeah, really enjoy that one. Um, it's very tame. Um, you can also decide how high you go. So if you're not a fan of heights, you can just stay lower. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really good. It's also fun for children as well because you get to control it. And for adults, <laughs> you get to control going up or down, and that's always that's always good. <laughs> yeah. Number six, slink. A dog. <laughs> so we just included it so you can say it. <laughs> I love it. We were taking them one at a time and it fell on me to tell you what it was. <laughs> Slinky Dog is one of my favourite Tamer rides. Um, I feel like this is definitely a personal favourite as well. The very first time we went to Disneyland Paris together in July of last year, that's when we went on it first, didn't mm. we? It was the first ride we went on in Disney, uh, in the studios. And then... This time it was following on from our failure to get on Tower of Terror. Terror. (laughs) And then we went on there. But I just remember it. It was the first ride that me and you had been on together at Disneyland Paris. And it goes goes sort of up and down and in a circle. And you're in Slinky Dog. You're in Slinky Dog, yeah. (laughs) He's running around. (laughs) But it's so funny because you end up going right the way over to the side yeah. and then the other person's like leaning on you and then <laughs> yeah always make sure that the smaller person is on the inside mm. <laughs> because you do gravitate you <laughs> gravitate to the outside <laughs> i just love it i'm just a massive toy story fan slinky dog was one of my favorite characters or is still one of my favorite characters and, and and even though it doesn't do very much it's, it's just, just really still fun. good fun and it i just laugh, laugh all the, all the yeah. way around yeah that's when my excited voice comes out my uh, <laughs> <laughs> that sort of laugh <laughs> and that is in the disney studios park in the toy story land bit yeah 
opposite the parachute drop. So number five, love-hate relationship with this one. It's a small world. <laughs> I'm sure you all know it's a small world. It's probably one of the most iconic Disney rides. I think it's been around for years and years and years. And it's a classic. You have to go on it. Um, it's a very tame ride. So you all sit in rows on a boat that's on a track. Um, you are surrounded by water. Um, but there's no drops. You literally just travel through <laughs> this Every country place. in the world. <laughs> and they play the song It's a Small World on loop. <laughs> uh, so I think a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with this one. Yeah, Crispy um, Small, definitely. Yeah. More on the hate side, I think. But Slightly terrifying in a way that the song just goes round and round and round and you've got these figures that are just, yeah. you know. I do have a, a, a love for it because... It goes back to the first time I went, not with you, but when mm. I went when I was little and uh, I wasn't going on anything, hated everything, cried at Armageddon and all this sort of stuff. And then my mum's partner, Rob, said, you want to go on that It's a Small World? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, well, it's not a really like kiddies ride, is it? He said, no, 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 it's, uh, it's quite exciting and yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. And then we got on it and it was, <laughs> it was what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so he'd stitched us up a bit. <laughs> it is really good fun though. Yeah. You have to do it at least once. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, yeah. We go on it every time. Every time. Multiple times as well. Yeah. <laughs> you love the hyena. The laughing hyena, the um, scary hyena. Yeah. He's just laughing and rocking back and forth. And also, if you ride it a few times, you notice different bits, which mm -hmm. you, you haven't noticed before, because um, there is a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, there is. It's a bit of attack of the senses. <laughs> and you'll find that, you can't miss it, that's in, is that Fantasyland still? It's no. in Fantasyland, yeah, and it has yeah. a clock outside, and I think once it hits on the hour, or, or something like that, the little figurines um, come out, yeah. which is quite cool to see. Mm -hmm. Number four is a ride that unfortunately wasn't on when we went in winter. I think they were sprucing it up or I don't know whether they just closed it for the winter, but it's Autopia. And this is your chance to drive your own little car around the track. Mm. <laughs> really good fun. Yeah, there's a similar one in Disney World. Um, so you just get in a car, it's a two-seater, isn't it? It's, yeah. So uh, driver and your passenger, and then you go around on this track that you um, you can't veer off of, no. but you are in charge you of your accelerator, and then you just have a little leisurely drive. Yeah, it's yeah. great fun. It's really, and you, I always try to like not hit the tracks, but it's yeah. really hard. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really good fun. And it's another one which you're in control of as well. So it's it's really good fun, especially for children. Because and children it, as well, yeah. That it wanted... feels like you're actually driving yeah. a car because you do have control over the accelerator and the steering wheel. When I was a kid, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to drive a car. I used to sit in the passenger seat with my own little toy steering wheel while my dad drove and I would be driving along with him. So for a kid, it must be great to be able to actually sit in the car and then be in charge like of it. it. Yeah. yeah. Even as an adult, I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that ride. <laughs> You'll find that in Discoveryland. So we're moving into our top three Tamer rides. Yeah. So at number three is the Mad Hatter's Teacups. So this is like a classic ride. You find the teacups at like most fairgrounds and theme parks. Um, but these ones are just so good. It's Alice in Wonderland themed. You're at the Mad Hatter's and you're all in little teacups. And you control how fast it spins. Yeah, or well, you try to. Yeah, it's quite it's quite tough. But uh, yeah, we found the last time we went, we found it really difficult to actually yeah, manoeuvre. We didn't know whether we were pulling it the wrong way or. <laughs> but uh, we we love it, and that's another one like Slinky Dog, where you're just laughing all the way through. Yeah. And we always have fun filming that one. Yeah. We always we always want to film Spinning our expressions around. on that. Yeah. It looks beautiful at night as well when all the lights are on. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a tame ride because you control how much you spin. Yeah. So if you don't like really spinny rides, you can just let it go and you just can just go round. Yeah. But then if you, if you want to make it a bit more extreme, you yeah. can uh, make it spin round faster. And that's a ride that's been there for a few years. Oh yeah. Even on your uh, past Disney visits with your family. Yeah. When we found the home video footage. In my childhood Disney video. If you haven't seen that, I'll pop that 
in the um, description below. And you'll find the teacups in Fantasyland. Number two in our top ten favourite Tamer rides, non-roller coasters, <laughs> is... <laughs> Slash non-roller coasters. <laughs> is Peter Pan's Flight. Um, yeah, Peter Pan's Flight, you get in your own pirate ship, don't you? Yeah. And then it, it, it takes off and you float around the story of Peter Pan. Uh, it's just... The one in Disneyland Paris, I thought was a lot smoother than the one oh, in really? Disney World. I thought, anyway, I'm not quite sure because it's been a while since we've been. Yeah. But yeah, it just takes you through the bedroom with Nana there and then you go out and you're flying above London and yeah, the model beautiful. of London on the floor is just beautiful, spectacular. It really feels like you're flying. Yeah, Big Ben, you see, and all sorts of different stuff. And then you go over to Neverland, you see the pirate ship, you see Captain Hook and all the characters are there. It's a version of what Pinocchio is, mm. but you're, you're, it feels like you're flying. Yeah, I love Peter Pan's flight. It normally has quite a long wait. Such a long wait. And it's a very, very popular ride. Extra, extra magic hours. Yeah. Try and go ride on Peter then. Pan's flight. Or yeah. if you can get a fast pass for it. Uh-huh. I feel like it's the ultimate family-friendly ride mm-hmm. for all ages. Very tame, but at the same time, just like beautiful and so much fun. Very magical. Yeah. Yeah, it's very. it's one of the most magical, magical rides, I'd say. Mm-hmm. And you'll find that in Fantasyland again. Uh, it's quite near to where you meet Mickey Mouse, isn't it? Yeah. If you're looking for tamer rides, actually, Fantasyland is a good place to start because a lot of them, if not all of them, actually, there's no roller coasters in Fantasyland. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So good that's point. a that's a good, very good land to spend time in if you're looking for tamer rides. Yeah, there's a lot more tamer rides in the Disneyland park, isn't there, than the Studios yes. Park. Right, so number one. <laughs> Drum roll, please. <laughs> My love. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know what it is. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast. <laughs> yes, we know. This was in our top ten favourite rides video. But it's a tame ride. And we had to include it. Yeah, it's probably the ultimate tame ride because you, you can make it spin, but... You, you can, can just let it go. Yeah. yeah. And it's just so much fun. It's um we've obviously explained this in our our earlier rides video. Basically it's a competition. Um you can either play it on your own or in pairs and you have to you have a laser which you have to laser the targets yeah. and then it adds up your score and then at the end you can see who won and you can also see on the leaderboard what you are. What you are. Because you become a space ranger. But what kind of space ranger? How good are you as a space ranger? We've never made it to <laughs> the best. Was it Galactic Hero? Yeah. One day. Where it just starts flashing because you can't get any more points. <laughs> but I think we mentioned this, and if you've watched our <sighs> vlogs, you know that we always have a challenge. Um, and then I was brought up on every video now. <laughs> every video. But I think it's a really good, fun challenge to do if you. Um, as long as you don't get too competitive, I don't want to start arguments <laughs> for couples or families. Um, but yeah, if you're there for a few days, if you ride it each day, have a little tally, and then yeah, you can have a little competition, a bit yeah. of healthy competition. It's always fun. <laughs> when we go to Disney World, it might have to be best of five. Yeah, because we'll be there for for a lot longer. Gonna win. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so yeah, that is our ultimate. Tamer ride. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's family friendly. It's and so much fun. Who doesn't want to have a little bit of like a competition? And... Yeah, and you feel like you're um, like in Toy Story. Yeah, like, I mean, really life fun. size Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, yeah greets you on the way in. So the actual queue is quite fun as well. Yeah. Seeing that. Mm-hmm. And you'll find that in Discovery Land. So that's it. That's our top 10 in order. Tamer rides at Disneyland Paris slash non roller coaster rides. <laughs> we don't know what we're going to call it yet. We'll probably call it that. <laughs> You'll see. It's going to be a long like title, it. yeah. Trying to fit it on the thumbnail. But oh. we've actually had sorry to interrupt. No, we've go. had another idea for another video because we were saying, well, do we include attractions? Like, like things, yeah, yeah, things you can do that aren't roller coasters but aren't rides. 
So then we have come up with another idea for another video, which will be our top 10 fun things to do that aren't rides. Yeah. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> That's me thinking up a title on the spot, but I'm sure it'll be something a bit more... Uh, Eloquent. Eloquent than that, yeah. That's a good word, eloquent. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, I hope that was helpful if you're looking for tamer ride ideas or if you're going with uh, young children or if you just don't like roller coasters. And yeah, there's so much to do at Disneyland Paris if you don't like roller coasters. Like we were saying, ours was just top 10, but there are other rides there as well. There's Snow White. Yeah. Creepy hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's a reference to our blog <laughs> that's a reference yeah. but yeah I would never say to someone don't go to Disney because you don't like roller coasters mm. there's so much more to Disney than rides and roller coasters and things Yeah, it's definitely a place for anyone Yeah. hope you enjoyed and we will see you on Thursday for a brand new video we certainly will keep those ideas coming for future videos yeah. we love planning how we're going to do them. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye.